everybody, today I'm here with Fiona and we're going to show you the best food spots around Lausanne. Let's go! The first place we're going to take you to here in Lausanne is the market. They're here on Wednesdays and Saturdays and this is my favourite store. Fiona's never been, right? Never been before, actually. <laughs> but we're going to have a Pelon Cousin that are the absolutely best in town. These are amazing. And I come here pretty much every Wednesday. <laughs> The Puente is a place to come for brunch. I may be a little bit biased because I'm in the kitchen on the weekends, but on Saturdays and Sundays you can come for pancakes and all sorts of brunch food. The first lunch place that we're going to take you to is Mio for sushi. And to me, it's the best sushi place in town. I don't know what you think, Fiona. Um, absolutely love it. It's actually the place that I have to go every semester, every year when I'm in Lausanne. It's 28 francs for a lunch tray where you have a miso soup, a salad, and a selection of sushi, or there's like a, a warm option as well. Favorite thing to end on is a little plate of mochi. Is it mochi? Is that how you yes. pronounce it? Yeah. Yeah? And a little jasmine tea. A second lunch place for a takeaway lunch is the Confiserie de l'Etat Lounge, one of my favourite places. My friend Andrea works here and Adriana works in the other one, which is on the other side of town. But this one's just open and it's really cute. Little salted cakes, they're super cute. Little ones and they have little sauces that come separately. And they're all like made by today in the morning. Yeah, Adriana and Andrea make them every morning. It would be actually really nice to have this if it's the summertime, you can sit in the park and just have your little takeaway and sit there with your friends and enjoy. One of our next lunch places is Al Cerco. We've come to see the lovely Leah, who actually graduated in the same year as I did um, from EHL. And here we've got awesome sandwiches, you've got open sandwiches, uh, the tarte salé, so like quiche style foods, there's fresh juices every day, everything's made fresh. I've been open for a year and uh, I try to work as much as possible with the uh, local providers. We are now queuing at Coney, the best bubble tea in town. Next up is Panks. We're here for local pancakes. The space is open seven days a week, all day, and it's perfect for that mid afternoon snack. So this is actually one of my favorite dinner spots. Uh, I don't know if you have ever been here before, Love but for Michi. sure. Yeah. Um, so actually the first time I was here was with my friend during my first year of university and I had a such great time here. The pasta here is amazing. Francesco is one of the owners and I actually used to work with his cousin. I worked all throughout university at uh, another restaurant and he's just lovely. This is my favorite Chinese restaurant in town um, and every time I come here I make sure I order this little thing here and also every time I come here I make sure to order their dim sum as well. Another dinner place you have to recommend is PZ Pizza. The pizzas here are amazing and Federico, the owner, was actually in my class at EHL so it's really nice to see him when he's here. There's no better place than LPs at the Luzan Palace for after dinner drinks. Santé! Alright, the last place in town is the Pavillon and this is the place to come for cocktails. They have the best gin and tonic and this is our favourite hangout spot. Thank you.
There we have it. These are our favorite spots around town. We hope you like them. We're feeling really full right now. There was a lot to take in. <laughs> but yeah, visit all these places. Give us a thumbs up if you did like the video and subscribe here if you haven't already. And we'll see you here back here soon.